Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sapphire. So in the last episode we got here to Meteor Falls, and in this episode we're gonna we're gonna move on a bit. So over here we can see two Team Aqua runs, and then what seems like a scientist. Oh my goodness. Team Magma. So this is Maxi. He's the head of Team Magma. And um, basically what those Team Aqua Grunts did is they stole a meteorite and they're taking it up to the top of Mount Chimney, which is the mountain that we were just at. So, there we go. Let's speak to the scientist. He's Cosmo, Professor Cosmo. And he was tricked. What an idiot. Yeah. Oh. A Luna Tome. These things are pretty cool. And remember, I'm still taking, um, suggestions for what my last Pokemon should be. Because I'm gonna switch out Slay That. Because no one likes Slay That. I have no idea what I wanna what I wanna use as my last Pokemon, so if you can help me out, that would be wonderful. Okay, there we go. Wait, one more five. <laughs> and just a random trainer. This is a Pokemon I would have liked to use as Angus, but. And Hannah's dead. Wonderful. Um, Desmond's our go-to guy now because he's double kick. Taking that stuff out. No good deal. Now if we jump down here, that leads to Rustboro. And we don't want to go to Rustboro. And it's our old friend Matchbox. So what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna head to Mount Chimney. Because that is actually where we were. That's where um, Team Aqua is going. So, let's head up there. So we're going to be going to Um. You might have noticed I did some leveling off screen. Kinda grew two levels. I just go, went and beat some trainers. Um, also, um. Eve learned uh, Calm Mind, so I deleted Teleport for that, so we don't actually have a very good way to get to a Pokemon Center now. Because if we still had Teleport, then we could just Teleport right there. But, nope, not anymore. Oh well. So, let's head all the way back up here. And let's heal up. So, I'm gonna make it all the way back to Mount Chimney, and I'll meet you there when I get there. Okay guys, welcome back. I am now at Mount Chimney. So, in here we have a cable car. Let's talk to this chick here. And we are gonna go in the cable car. And it gets very ashy up here, because this is actually an active volcano. So, up here we see probably the funniest Pokemon battles ever. I think they're supposed to be battling, but it looks like these two pianos are just making out. Yeah, hose them down. If they expand the sea, there'll be less habitats for Pokemon and people. Because that is Team Aqua's plan, to expand the sea. And in Pokemon Ruby, Team Aqua is the bad guys because they're expanding the Earth. There's some more just Pokemon battles, and then up here is Maxi. 
And he's taking three... He's taking on three at once. And look at his Puchiana go. And we actually have to do some battles here. So we get to hear the amazing music again. And I'm gonna switch on Hannah, because Hannah's not very useful against the sea bear. Hmm. Maybe he isn't the best person to take up the Z bats with. But she does have super effective moves. So that's one reason why I'm using her. Luciana. You know what? We're gonna switch it right out. We're not gonna put you through back on Dark Pipe. Because you would get destroyed. I could have switched into Hannah, but I'm just, hmm, I'm not in the mood to train Hannah right now. She kind of sucks, she can't even hold her own against wild Pokemon that are two levels lower than her. So, there's that grunt bed. Let's head up here. And this is one of the Team Aqua guys that were actually at Meteor Falls. Oh my goodness, it's Aqua Admin Matt. He looks... He looks like he has man boobs. Look at that, he has man boobs. And he's double fist in those Pokeballs. Oh my. Hmm. Probably not smart switching to Eve. Why did I switch into Eve? That was retarded. I should have just switched into Charleston. Oh well. What's done is done, I suppose. Oh, it worked out in the end. Now, you know what? We'll switch to Hannah and see if she can actually take out this pooch yet. Now, rock smash. This much. Well, it did more than I thought it would do. When I was fighting wild Pokemon, it just did no damage. I fought a Lunatone and it took like I don't know, ten hits from Rock Smash to take it out. It was ridiculous. And all the Pokemon around that area, like around the outside of Meteor Falls, all have moves that put your Pokemon to sleep. Like Swablu, you sing, stuff like that. It's really annoying. To train a Pokemon. Carvana. We're actually going to switch into Charleston for this. Hmm. Well, let's break out one. Because it is basically just a free attack. I could have used the bullet there. Might have been better, but oh well. Again, what's done is done. Austin's level 23. Sweet! So the admins in this look no different than the regular um, people. So, we're gonna save here. Because I'm too much of a wimp. Because I feel like I'm gonna lose this fight. Because I suck. Um, because this is a boss fight, I'm not gonna leave the panel. So let's speak to Archie. Power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will stop. Foo foo foo. Eventually, the cool down crater will fill with rainwater, giving water Pokemon a place to live you again. Now listen, all life depends on the sea. The sea is everything! Its importance is paramount! 
That is why we of Team Aqua are committed to expanding the sea. Doing so will result in the emergence of new Pokemon species. We will return the world back to the nature of the good for the good of Pokemon. That is Team Aqua's vision. I can't allow an ignorant child like you to get in our way. I, Archie, will show you the consequences of meddling. Now this is good boss fight music too. He is ridiculously high level for the map. I'm pretty under level for this part of the game. He's probably gonna swagger me. Oh, sound effect. Probably worse than swagger. For me, anyway. Well, I took out his mouth, and that's good. Hmm. Desmond's level 26. Lovely. Golbat. Hmm. Now this is the difficult... I remember him having a Crobat at this part of the game. Maybe not. Oh well. Don't kill. They killed me. Lovely. Lovely! You know what? Why not? I miss. Lovely. Hmm. Oh, lovely! And guess what? Now that we're both confused, I'm gonna hit myself all the time, and he's never gonna hit himself. Come on, Charlotte. What did I tell you? Yeah, see? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Well, at least it hurt itself now. Hmm. Let's see how much Steel Wind does. Probably not that much. But... God damn it, Charlotte. You idiot. At least it hurts itself. Oh, it snapped out of its confusion. Jesus! Hmm. This fight could have gone better, you know? Two critical hits in a row that Golbat got? What the hell is with that? Okay, this is looking pretty bad for us. Are you serious? Inner focus prevents it from flinching? No! Aw, oh, that's so BS. Don't super potion, that's so cheap. Let's see what nature power does. Don't kill me. Desmond, come on, man. You can do this. Don't miss with this. Damn it! Desmond! Why? Why do you miss so much with Rock Tomb? It's just Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb! It doesn't have like 50% accuracy. How do you keep missing every single time with it? Are you just retarded or something? And it didn't even kill it. <sighs> okay. I'm a death water slay that. Oh, slay that is holding an item. I have to remember to take that off. So. Now I switch into Hannah. Uses death water too. 
Um, this isn't good. Um, you know what? We'll use one of my stupid potions. This time, Desmond, don't miss. Thank you. And because I got that speed lower there. Why can you get that critical before? And now comes his best Pokemon, I think. Yep, Sharpedo. Now, this kind of sucks for us, because our only Pokemon left is a fire type. Do I have any revive? Nope. So, it is dark and water type, and I don't think it knows any water move at the moment. So, we can just double kick it. Well, that went easier than I thought it would with that Sharpedo. And there we go, this one's level 27. Desmond took out every single one of his Pokemon. All my other guys just failed. And all of them leave. Level. Hmm. Apparently, we shall meet again. You know, we can actually remove this meteorite. And we can take back to, um, Professor... I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, no. Nope. Professor Cosmo, there we go. Okay. Now, here we are in the Jagged Pass. And we can actually go down these rocks here. Because of our acro bike. And there's items. A burn heal. Not very good. And when we reach the bottom here, we see on this route again. And there's actually a town here. Lava Ridge now. And I am going to heal, and this Pokemon's actually a bit different than some of the other ones, but I'll get into that on the next episode. So, in this, this episode, we thwarted Team Aqua's plans, and we got to leverage down. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you really liked it, favorite it, and I would love you forever if you subscribe. This is at 17th night, signing out.